Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. Today we're going to be talking about animal spirits, animal guides, spirit animals, spirit guides, whatever you want to call them. Um, I have a new spirit guide or animal spirit or whatever the fuck. The crow, okay? So <laughs> the crow started to come into me and my husband's life um this year literally like when we first moved into this house we moved into this house in January of this year to 2019 I say 2019 because I know like a year or two from now someone's gonna watch this video for the first time and then they're gonna be like oh this year no it was like 2019 <laughs> anyways um so we moved into this house and I would say it probably was like around February, my husband started to notice crows and he even mentioned it to me. He was like, babe, I'm seeing crows everywhere. They've been flying across my car when I'm driving. They're all over the, the, the lawn. <laughs> they like to hang out on the light post by our house. They're everywhere and they're big. Like these crows are huge. Um, they're usually in a flock or I don't know if it's, a, if it's called a flock, but there's a group of them. <laughs> and we have a lot of empty desert by our house because we live like in the desert. We live in the middle of nowhere. Um, and it's still, you know, growing and adapt and evolving or whatever. But um, there's a lot of crows that hang out in the desert parts. And they're usually in groups, you know, like four or five. And they're big like big they're probably as big as luna like i'm like luna is probably the same size as the crow it's crazy so then he goes well what does it mean <laughs> i'm like what do you mean what does it mean he goes well i've been noticing crows all the time like remember back in the day it used to be hummingbirds and i was like oh yeah that's true my husband always has some sort of bird around him and so I was like, well, let me look it up. So I brought out the Animal Spirit Guidebook, which is the Wild Unknown. And this was back in February. And so I knew there was a crow. Oh my God, I literally just opened the page and it was right there. Ah, wow. Okay. <laughs> um, and so I opened the guidebook and I, I told him, okay, well, this is what the crow says, you know. And he's spiritually strong, creative, and watchful. And then I have like some highlighted pieces from it. So I highlighted a crow's personality is drawn to the supernatural and has a gift for seeing the unseen and knowing the unknown. The crow energy is potent and should only be tapped into when the mind is clear. Those with crow tendencies must balance their life with a healthy diet, joyful friends, and regular self-study. So to me, it's like the psychic bird. It is the the third eye, like the third eye raven, you know, in, in Game of Thrones. It is your ability to see beyond the, the realms of reality. So I would tell my husband, oh, maybe you're like, you're going to be having a spiritual awakening. Maybe you're going to be one-upping. Maybe you're going to start seeing spirit. Maybe you're, you know, your psychic abilities are evolving because he's very, um, he's a Capricorn rising. So my husband is very like, I have to see it to believe it kind of a person, you know, and he's very, very, he's very, he has faith, but I think he also, <laughs> when I get all like into this weird woo woo stuff with him, I think he kind of like tunes out. <laughs> So I feel like that's why when I try to read tarot for him, it's so hard for me because he's he's like closed off. And so I told him, maybe you are evolving, you know, and maybe that's why the crow is coming up. But then the crow started to show up for me too. It wasn't just for my husband. So, um, you know, we would both be out and about and we would see them. They would be by our house. They would be always around our house. And then there was one morning where Luna was sitting on her little perch and she was looking out the front window and I heard, ah, ah, and you could hear like the wings, like, like the wings flapping. And I looked, I peeked through because you could see from the hallway, you could see into the room. And she was like crouched on her perch and she was all stiff and she was looking up like that. There was a crow that literally landed on the ledge of the window and he was looking in the window. The window was up and the screen, it was just this, it was just her and the screen. And then it was the crow on the other side. And this fucking crow was like as big as she is. Like they're big, you guys. They're huge. And I told my husband, oh my God, there's a crow in the window. <laughs> 
And then you can hear him fly away and you just hear his wings like. And so um, it was a wild, that was a wild little experience for me too, because it was just like, oh my God, the crow. But Luna was like over the moon about it. And so, you know, and then we would be out and about. We would be like, we went to Home Depot one time and there was like crows in the garden area, like literally inside the garden area. They were like all up in there. Um, they're just everywhere. And I was seeing them everywhere. And then I, I got a crow statue. He's over there on the on my bookshelf. I got a crow statue because he was at the crystal shop. When I went to the crystal shop, there was they had like the little um the oh now this is gonna please sit still. <laughs> Sorry guys, my camera. Okay. Um I got a little crow statue because um when I walked into the crystal shop, they had them on display. And then I have a third eye raven over there, like literally in that thing. My husband gifted it to me. So crows were just popping up everywhere, not just in person, but they were also like in objects that I was seeing. And then they were popping up on my Instagram feed a lot. So people were like posting their tarot cards or um, like their Oracle decks and there was crows in them. And then I was doing readings and I started noticing the crows in the images that I never really noticed before. And it was just so much, it was happening so often that I could not not notice, okay? So people always ask, um, how do you identify your spirit animal or your spirit guide? You will start noticing, especially if it's an animal guide, okay? You will start noticing a certain animal popping up everywhere, okay? Now, there's a difference between like searching for the animal and seeing it and it just hits you like it just stumbles you stumble across it so like I said we just moved in we started noticing oh there's a lot of crows up here but they were like everywhere every single time we were out they were everywhere and then having it in our window and then having like the crow statue show up for me and it was on my feed everywhere it just became a lot <laughs> and so that's what I'm saying is you will identify your animal guide when they start popping up for you and it doesn't have to just be a physical animal it could be a picture it could be a word you hear it could be um in the music like in the lyrics you're listening to it could be literally like you're scrolling on Instagram and it's there I mean it it, it happens in weird ways okay and so then my friend one of my friends gifted me the crow tarot and I got this deck last week. I'm so in love with it. But she knew I was connecting with the crows and so she wanted to gift me this deck. Um, so this was one of the tarot decks that has, it's been popular lately because everyone's, you know, into it right now. Um, and so this deck has been popping up everywhere on Instagram. So I, it was just like crows everywhere. Literally, it's a tarot deck dedicated to the crow. So she bought this for me because this bird, this animal guide, I feel has come into my and me and my husband's marriage because we are going through a big change right now. Um, and so he's, my husband started noticing the crow in February and then it was in literally at the end of February, um, he got word of no maybe it wasn't the end of February it could have been like the beginning of March it was so tight like around that time where he got news of something that big that he's doing right now and so it's it's a change in his career and you know for seven months he's doing his training and I'm just crossing my fingers that he makes it <laughs> But that's what he's doing. So, um, and he left in March, the end of March, he, he left and he's been up in Sacramento. And so um, the crow came in at this time for him, I feel, as an indication of the unknown. So when I read that little passage of like, um, he has the gift for seeing the unseen and knowing the unknown. It's almost like the crow was watching him, telling him, you're ready. You're going to be embarking on a path that you're not going to know what's going to happen at the end of it, but trust it. And so, and then I feel like the crow was coming into my life as well at the same time because I was going through this big shift with my husband, but more from a different perspective. It wasn't for the perspective of doing training and having this career change. That's his lot. That's his story. But for me, it was more of getting comfortable with being a homeowner 
um, and holding down the fort here at the house while he's gone. So it was like a big lifestyle change for me. And with that came, you know, more time and ideas because I, you know, I'm not saying my husband distracts me, but I'm saying that when he's not here, I can focus more and get more stuff done. And so I launched my first tarot course, my online tarot course, and it's starting the 1st of June. And so I feel like the crow energy was pushing me to do things that I probably wouldn't have done had he still been home or, you know, I, I just, I wouldn't have a reason to want to keep myself busy. And so there's big changes with that, you know, and, um, I also feel like it's also embracing like one upping my psychic abilities, one upping my, my intuitive abilities, my readings, my style and readings. Um, I've received new clients this year. I've had a lot of new clients coming in, um, booking sessions with the cackling moon. So that's been really cool. Um, but yeah, I just, that's, I guess like that's the only way I can explain when you are noticing a certain animal and I'm talking specifically about animal guides. Um, that's how you identify if you have a new animal guide. Um, people were asking, you guys have asked like, how do you connect with your spirit guide? The only way I can describe it without it sounding crazy is through meditation. Um, literally like meditation is that practice that is going to allow you and it's going to teach you how to trust your intuition if you are meditating and you are setting an intention and you are doing like i i would do the guided meditations on youtube i would search for one for spirit guides and just do them and there will be so many nights because they're not you're not going to be connecting with your spirit guide in this magical way <laughs> every single time um there were many many meditations where i either fell asleep and I didn't remember anything or I would do the meditation and nothing would happen or I wouldn't feel anything different. And then there was the one meditation. <laughs> there was the one meditation and this one was probably like three years ago when I was living in the apartment. Um, I was meditating. I set the intention I wanted to connect with my spirit guide. I was fucking deep in this meditation, right? And he appeared to me, my spirit guide, and he was a very, he was male energy, masculine, so that's why I'm saying he. Um, but the way he looked was so extraterrestrial. <laughs> it just blew my fucking mind. He had no face. There was no eyes, nothing. He was literally a human form and galaxies and stars all within him. And I, I have since seen people post artwork and I actually follow a couple artists on Instagram that do artwork and they actually create the way I saw my spirit guide. Um, and so that's how he appeared to me. And <laughs> as crazy as that sounds, um, it was a very, <laughs> it was a very eye-opening experience. It was like, I didn't even doubt what I was seeing in my meditation. Um, and I think that's the important thing to say is that if you are wanting to connect with your guide, you have to trust whatever is coming through. If your guide is, is, is showing themselves to you in a certain form and it doesn't make any sense to you, that's just the way they are showing themselves to you. Um, no guide is going to be different and they will change forms too. I mean, they're not always going to show you the same form. You know, maybe they do, but and sometimes you won't even see anything sometimes you're just feeling them so I guess like when people ask me to do a video about connecting with your spirit guides or your spirit animals or whatever you have to trust what you're receiving okay and that's the big lesson I've learned since I've started this journey because I always thought it was going to be like black and white I was going to see this being or animal and it was going to be crystal clear what it was it doesn't happen like, like that. <laughs> when you are literally using your mediumship to connect anything, it could be anything. And if you, the minute you start to trust what you're seeing and how you're seeing it, it'll happen more often. Does that make sense? Um, but if you're going to doubt and you're going to like tear it apart, <sighs> doubt creates 
it just creates this ugly vibration that just turns it all around. It doesn't, it, I don't know how to explain it. It just, it's, it's so hard to explain that. So, um, trust what you're receiving, trust what you are hearing, seeing, feeling, and write it down, write it down. If you, if you think you'll forget, but I got to tell you, I will never forget that meditation experience when that guide first revealed themselves to me. Um, and before I saw them, like before I had that meditation where I had that vision with them, um, I was always identifying my guide with the name Edward because that was like the name that came to mind when I was meditating, asking simply for a name. Um, I have also had it validated by other readers. So it's just like one of those things, like you're going to start discovering bits and pieces of your guide in different ways. Um, but I guess like when you're dealing with energetic beings or <laughs> it sounds so crazy when you say it, but when you're doing this stuff, you have to trust what you are experiencing. You have to trust what you're experiencing and trust what you're feeling because it's so easy to, to disregard it as nothing um, or something evil or whatever. Um, you just have to trust what you're receiving. And I know that that, that advice probably doesn't help you guys much, but it didn't help me either. Um, until I literally started to just let loose about my practice and not have to have it be black and white. Like this is the way it's going to be. It just happens. Um, so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I think identifying your animal guide is a little bit easier because they will they will start to appear in so many ways the same animal over and over again and they'll and, and it'll change too like my 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 main guide is is a whale like animal guide is a whale like without a doubt 100 percent. Um, but my whales don't always appear, appear to me, you know, and then it was like when I was doing some shadow work course, I had a wolf come to me in a meditation. It was so beautiful. And my wolf does come back, you know, he comes here and there, but he's more of a protector, you know, and so I don't always need that around. Um, and then, like I said, lately, it's been the crow and the crow has to me has been just like that one energy that's been pushing me to get shit done you know during this big change that I'm going through right now in my marriage and so just I think you you will attract and you will your your guides will come to you in different forms for what you need or what you're going through in life um and but like I said I think when you identify them as an animal it's easier like they <laughs> it's easier to 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 notice when there's an animal guide coming through for you versus like a spirit like literally a spirit guide you know because a spirit guide you can just feel them and it won't necessarily be something you visually see unless they choose to you know reveal themselves to you and so um the guide that I was talking about that revealed himself to me in meditation he doesn't come every meditation. Um, you know, I, I will never forget how he looked when I saw him, but he will, he doesn't come all the time like that. No. So I guess it's just like, like that, like you just have to trust and understand that it's not going to be like someone's meeting you for dinner and you're sitting in front of them, talking to them. <laughs> it's not like that. Um, but the biggest factor is to trust what you're seeing trust what you're feeling and meditate. Meditate is going to help you close off your, like you literally your, close off your ego and open your third eye. Um, yeah. I don't know how else to say it. Like, I don't know how else to describe how to connect with your spirit guide is just meditate. Um, or automatic writing. You can try that. Everyone has a strong ability in some way, right? So for me, it's, I could feel energies. Um, I practice the automatic writing. I'm not that great at it, but sometimes it comes out, you know? And then, but for me, it's more like I feel the energies and then I'll pull cards with it too. Um, but some people can visually see their guides all the time. Some people can hear them. So we all have a different way that we can connect to other beings or other realms or whatever, however you want to call it. Um, 
we're all different. So like I said, meditation helped me, but maybe for you, it's not meditation. Maybe all you simply have to do is like, just trust that you're seeing what you're seeing. Um, but I'm not a visual like that. It doesn't work for me that way. So I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I hope that this, you know, I hope this kind of explained a little bit. I know some of you were curious about um, spirit guides and stuff since I do offer spirit guide readings. Now, the other thing I want to say is spirit guides, um, the way they appear to me, if I'm doing a spirit guide reading for you, if they appear to me a certain way, it may not be the same for you. And that's because they're appearing to me a certain way so that I will pinpoint or I will know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> and but they may not show themselves the same way to you okay so that's another thing I have to say because I do have spirit guide sessions that I've done for clients where um the guide will come to me and they'll look like my grandpa but it was for me to know okay this is an older male um or grandpa energy but he looked like my grandpa but obviously my grandpa is not going to be your spirit guide you know so that's what I mean. So, <laughs> so I thought I had to clear that up too because um, because that's happened before in, in readings for clients where um, the spirit that was coming through, was sh he, they were showing themselves in someone I knew, but I knew for a fact that obviously he's not going to be your spirit guy. <laughs> so trust that too. Um, but yeah, you guys, if you have any questions about spirit guides or anything like that, you can ask them below. I will do my best to answer. Um, but like I said, practice makes perfect, literally. And if you are not meditating, you need to start meditating because that is the one way that you are going to learn to turn on your third eye and turn off your ego, um, is literally by learning to just sit in silence and connect and feel whatever comes through because when spirit is connecting with you it is so easy to not hear them um because it's so faint it's so soft it's so light um and if you're like distracted with noise around you or other people around you or whatever your mind is all over the place you're not going to connect you know you're not going to feel it as if as easily as you will if you were simply just sitting here in silence listening to So um, anyways, let me know if this helps you guys. If you have any questions, thank you guys for watching and happy communicating with your spirit guides. <laughs> Bye, my loves.